Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse, a.k.a. BGFH, and I am back for another accessible iOS game, actually an audio game, actually, and we are looking at Echoes from Leviah, Soulbound. This is kind of a another sort of action-y adventure, maybe, I don't know if you call it a role-playing game, really, but maybe more like an adventure type of game. Um, maybe something like a Blind Legend or other similar types of things. I have not really put any time into it. I've tried to record this video a while ago, but for some reason I was having some really strange mirroring issues um, where the game would just completely chop up and it just the, the audio was garbled and... I don't know, it was just that particular game, and uh, I tried it a little bit earlier today just to see, and so far it seems to be, um, it seemed to record okay. So we're going to give this one more shot, see if I can get a video out for you uh, for this game, Echoes from Leviah Soulbound. Now this is one of the more expensive games, I can't remember how much it is in the store, I want to say somewhere around 10 bucks, um, but I can't remember exactly, it is a paid game. I know a lot of people have a fit about that, but whatever, it is what it is. And like I said, uh, it's clear that they tried to put, you know, some production into it and everything. So let's give it a shot here. I have voiceover off because it is a self-voicing title. Okay. Echoes from Leviah Soulbound is an audio game. Rotate your phone to the left in landscape, and be sure to connect your headphones before diving into the adventure. Done swipe and up and down to navigate the menu. Swipe right or tap the screen to confirm and swipe left to go back. Okay. This is the left channel. This is the right channel. Yep. We're all good. Okay. Echoes from Leviah Soulbound. Main menu. So we do Continue. have... We do have some visuals. New game. So we can continue. New game. Now, like I said, I've maybe put two minutes into this. I don't even know how this controls. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. But uh, new game. Load game. Key bindings. <laughs> That's pretty funny, considering... Uh, unless they actually do... I don't know. I wonder if they have Bluetooth keyboard support. Although, I think it's funny that they have key bindings in a touchscreen game. <laughs> Because I think this is also available for PC and maybe Mac. How to play? Oh, okay. Turn off screen. Ah. Credits. Continue. Credits. Turn off screen. How to play? Let's do how to play. The I game consists of two main phases: exploration, in which you need to find objects or go to particular places. In the combat phase, where you must defeat monsters and enemies that you encounter during the adventure. Uh -huh. During exploration, you can interact with different objects to identify them. And when you walk alongside an obstacle or a wall, pay attention to the sound of your hand sliding on it. You can also concentrate on perceiving the presence of important passages or objects. Remember that you can also learn which cardinal point you are currently facing. Defeat the enemies attacking you with your staff, parrying their attacks and hitting them with the right timing to unbalance them. But be aware that if you attack them in a careless way, they can also parry and unbalance you. During exploration, you will encounter particular sections in which you will have to solve some puzzles. Pay attention to the instructions of each one that will be explained to you shortly before the event starts. In these situations, you may be able to take new actions that you normally can't do. During the adventure, there will be parts with long dialogues or events that will reveal the evolution of the story. Carefully follow each development to understand what happens. These parts are preceded by a distinctive yeah. sound. Yeah, hush. To play. So that was really, I was hoping it was going to be like, oh, here's some gestures. I mean, that was just basically like, oh yeah, here's like a very, very top level overview of like, yeah, there's adventure, combat, puzzles, stuff. I was kind of hoping that it would maybe review some of the gestures or something, but eh, no. So, I guess we'll learn as we go, apparently. Turn off screen. How to play. Key bindings. Load game. You know, I have to go to key bindings just because I want to know. Key bindings. 
During exploration, swipe up to move forward and swipe down to move backward. Swipe mm -hmm. left or right to rotate 90 degrees on the spot. Okay. Swipe with two fingers left or right to take a side step in the specified direction. Okay. To interact with the environment, tap the screen with one finger. To know the direction you're currently facing, tap the screen with two fingers. Press and hold the screen with two fingers to concentrate. Double tap the screen to open the pause menu. During combat, press and hold the screen with a single finger to enter into parry position. Swipe left, forwards, or right to attack in the direction of the enemy. Okay, um, I think I'll remember most of that. I forget, sort of, I, I forget what the two finger thingies are, but I think Keep it'll probably, hopefully it'll tell us as we start our adventure here. But uh, I guess, I mean, just a nitpicky thing, but since this is like on a touch screen in this version, I would say maybe key binding seems a little weird. Maybe you set, change that to gestures or something. Load game. New game. Ah, uh, new game. Slot one. Yep. You will overwrite the previous game. Yeah, I know, but I haven't done sure? anything, so it doesn't matter. Yes. Okay, let's hope this... I want you. Wait. Cry. All right, then. Got some weird demonic uh, devil eyes thing it's going dark. on. dark. Well, what a surprise. You're blind. It's different from usual. <laughs> Who are you? Don't worry. I'm a friend. <laughs> I can't even touch you. I'm bodiless. You're a ghost? Near enough. The, the village. <sighs> My memories are all muddled. Am I dead? You wish. You're a prisoner. In a cell, to be precise. On a ship, in the middle of the sea, at the mercy of terrible men. Now I remember. Ugh. Hands tied, too. Hey, hey, calm down. They're going to find us if you don't stop. Us? There's an us? Well, I can't theoretically be found. You're the only one who can hear me. But we're a team. I'm here to help you after all, aren't I? And why should I trust you? <laughs> what choice do you have? Listen, think of me as your guide, your right-hand man, your familiar. Ah, uh, sounds so good. Uh -huh. Familiar? Maybe you could tell me what's happening. I, I feel odd. Kiroth the familiar. That would be me. Kiroth the familiar. Oh, well, your prayer has been answered. You've received a gift, as well as my wonderful company. Lucky me. Yeah. A gift, you say? A sixth sense. An extra one just for you. Concentrate. Found something? I think so. Here we go. A broken plank. Free! We're not out of the woods yet. Ha <laughs> Between you and freedom, we've got bars, a band of marauders, and a full-blown stormy sea. And that's only for starters. Have I ever told you what a great help you are? Young Sarek. Man of little faith. Or perhaps too much faith? <laughs> you know my name? We're linked, you and I. You'll come to understand. If I were you, I'd worry more about how you're going to get yourself out of this pickle. <laughs> yeah, how? Leave it to me, the magnificent Kurth. After you. Stay alert, listen to me, and stay quiet. Okay. Game saved. She reminds... Still hurts. Oh, hold on. Welcome to Echoes from Leviah Soulbound. <clears throat> this brief tutorial will show you the basics of the game. To move back and forth, swipe up or down. Now take two steps forward. Okay. These are the bars of the cell. I seem to remember that the exit was on my right. You can rotate on the spot 90 degrees by swiping left or right. Now turn to the right. Okay. Now I should take a step to the right. 
That was to a take two a side finger? step to the left or right, swipe with two fingers left or right. Now take a side step to your right. Okay. Ah, here's the exit of the cell. I should not leave here without my staff. You can concentrate on perceiving what's important in the surroundings by tapping and holding two fingers on a screen. Keep in mind that you will perceive the important objects close to you, even without concentrating. Now go get your staff. Okay. Uh... I don't really... I don't really understand what that means. Um So I admittedly I'm sort of cheating right now because there are some graphics on the screen. Um, but I'm trying to make sense. Here, my faithful staff. To interact with any object in front of you, tap on the screen. Now pick up your staff. Okay. I mean, I know I have my headphones on correctly, but it just seems bizarre. Now it's time to get out of here. While concentrating, you can also perceive the presence of some passages. Keep in mind that, like important objects, you will perceive the presence of passages close to you even without concentrating. Now exit the cell. Okay. So I'm gonna just go by audio. I'm not gonna look. So, yeah, the voice acting of that, especially your little familiar person, she seems more like, I, I don't know, it's they're a little bit over the top as far as like, oh, she's, it's a little cheesy, you know, it's like, oh, she's like this weird mistress, evil, kind of, almost stereotypical, weird, I've, I've seen a lot in fantasy uh, media over the years. Uh, kind of reminds me of your companion um, in... There's a PC game I should go back and try again and show you guys on the channel. Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, I believe it's called. That was a really fun... It was a melee-based first-person game, and it was so cool because you could kick people into traps and off ledges, and it was great fun. But let's see if we can get out of this cell. Okay, so that seems to be in front of me. Okay, apparently that was something. <laughs> uh The first step is done. What will happen now? Now it's time to start your adventure. Remember that you can tap on the screen with two fingers to know the direction you're currently facing. Make good use of what you have just learned and start your journey. Okay, so I'm going to tap with two fingers. I'm facing east. Okay, east. Okay. Uh, let's... Okay, so that's a wall. So if I went... So now we're going to go north. Actually, you know what? Let's... Uh, oh, weird. Okay, because there's a wall. Okay, so when I move up, there's a wall to my left, but when I go back down, there's nothing that tells me that there's an opening. So there's my cell on the left. Okay, I see what's going on. Let's sidestep and see. Okay. Okay.
No, I said go. So I hear a chime in front of me. I don't know what that means. Let's just keep going, because... Okay, something is in front of me. Ooh, okay, that must... What did I get? Bottles. Yep, rum. A liquor from the south. Popular with the marauders. Okay. Mm, liquor. So I got a bottle, whatever good that does. I feel you have to you have to be very deliberate when you uh, swipe side to side with one finger because I swipe to the right, and if I don't really do an exaggerated gesture, a lot of times I find that it treats it. At, yeah, see right there. I totally did a sideways swipe, and it moved me forward. So, what the hell? Okay. No. I'm curious to see what the combat is going to be like. Say, what is this? Okay. Must be okay. Guess it was a gate or door or something. Because I heard the noise in front of me, but I didn't know. Okay, let's concentrate. Forward into the left. Ow. Can I a wooden crate? Okay. I was hoping I could grab some. Game on. saved. Everything ah. seems so quiet. Quick, quick, hide. We're off to a cracking start. What now? Now, wait for the right moment. Uh, okay. Okay. So I heard the guy going from left to right. Let's concentrate. Okay, we got something over on the right. See, I, I flicked again. Okay, there's something to my left. just does not always work. And I know how to swipe. I know how to flick or swipe. This isn't the time to change your clothes. You still wouldn't look any good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go this way, I guess. I guess I found a closet, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so to my left, I hear something. Okay, I guess that was a door. So when I hit the thud, I, I know Game I hit something. Safe. We need to go back. Only that fool is still here. Oh look, now he's started sweeping. What a nitwit. <laughs> What's this flea-ridden beast? It must be the hold cap. It's Jeez. useful to keep one on board. It may prove useful even to us. Uh. Meow, Sarek. 
What the? Animal <coughs> possession. A trick. Meow. I'll what? distract him. Be ready. <coughs> Meow, you dimwit. Huh? What the? <sighs> hey, that's my snack. Come here, you infernal beast. I gotta say I'm not overly thrilled with the voice acting. It's it's a little bit over the top and kind of cheesy. Let's see, how do I tell? I'm facing north. Okay. Let's concentrate. Okay, there's something to my left. <laughs> my son. As nobody's seen him, he was out when they came, wild beasts. Oh, light of heaven. Oh. Emily, stay calm. He'll be fine, you'll see. <sighs> We've got bigger fish to fry now. Maybe it had escaped your notice, but we're now all prisoners of those beasts. May the darkness take them. There's no need for that. We need to stay strong and resist together. And even if her son were, he'd surely be better off than us. Oh, light of heaven. What will happen to us? Don't I even don't think know. about it. We could free them all. You could kill them all. We're on a ship in the middle of the sea, brimming with people who kill for a living, if you've forgotten. But... One. It's already a miracle that we've gotten this far. Two, you don't even know how you're going to get out of this. Three, someone could arrive at any moment. I can't abandon them. Damn it! Do you want to tempt fate with a bunch of deadbeats in tow? <sighs> I'll help you find them once we're on dry land, okay? You can't help them now. You'd not only be risking your life, but theirs too. <laughs> Let's go. Stay quiet. <laughs> okay. So there's something to my left. Knock, knock. Dead end. Huh. Okay. I'm facing east. <laughs> I... I don't know. There's just something with the way you turn. I can consistently go up and down. Fine. But... I... Keep having trouble... Turning. And if that's going to be a consistent problem, I could see... Especially as the game gets harder, I can see where those missed gestures are going to cause me some issues. Now, I don't know, maybe that's not the game. Maybe that could be me streaming, too. And the way it's interpreting over the airplay, I don't know. But, anyway, just the, the, definitely thought I'd let you know. Okay, I guess we found a gate. Or door or something. Okay, let's scope the situation. Facing west. Concentrate again. So, can I go left now? A solid wooden wall, more or less. Okay. 
Let's just keep going north, I guess. I don't know. We've nearly made it. Going up these stairs will get us up on the deck. Okay. Land ahoy! Lower the sail. The sail, damn it. Here's our chance. Double checking. Okay, I don't hear, hear a little chimey thing, which I don't know what that means. Game but... saved. Stay hidden. Where the hell is the nearest lifeboat? There. Quickly now, follow my voice. Oi, give me a hand here, you bastards. Behind here, quick. Visibility is awful. They won't see you. <sighs> I'm still trying to see what May comes the night take us all. The gods like... are angry! Nearly there. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with him? Wave to port! Careful! Oh. Ouch! Uh. Oh. Well, now they'll Come on, get you. up! We've arrived! What are you doing here, huh? <laughs> Shit. Alright, combat. Okay, I have to stay calm and remember my training. During your journey in the lands of Levia, you will encounter different enemies you will have to defeat. Now follow the instructions in the tutorial to learn how to fight. I think it's right in front of me. Yeah. You can face up to three enemies at a time, which can occupy three different positions. Left, right, and center. The enemy you are facing is in front of you right now. <laughs> Yeah. Damn it, here he comes. I have to defend myself from his blows or he will seriously hurt me. Beware, the enemy is about to hit you. To parry an attack, tap and hold the screen. Sarek will take a defensive position after a few moments. Try to parry an attack. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's time to bring some action. Now it's time to strike. You can attack in one of the three possible directions, so, swiping left, up, or right with one finger. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now swipe up to make a frontal attack in the direction of the enemy. Yep. <clears throat> um, he's about to move. I can hear him. You hit him. But now the enemy is trying to disorient you by moving to a different position. Pay attention to his footsteps to find the direction in which he will move. Okay, that's easy enough. To the left! There he is! Did you pay attention to his footsteps? Yes. Now the enemy is on your left. Try to deliver an attack in that direction by swiping left. Well, we'll try. Damn it! He blocked my attack! Beware that enemies are able to parry your attacks. If you insist on attacking an enemy continuously, you will become predictable, and you will give him the opportunity to land a counterattack. Try to attack him again and see what happens. Ow, okay. Guess that would be a counter. Ouch! That was close. I have to be less predictable when I attack. As expected, the enemy anticipated your intentions and performed a counter move. You have been stunned for a few moments, and being unable to perform any action, You've become easy prey for your enemies. Okay, dude, now it's my turn. If I'm able to counterattack at the very last moment, I will catch him by surprise. To make your attacks less predictable and breach the enemy defense, you can also perform a counter move. To execute it, attack in the enemy's direction just a moment before it lands its blow. Timing is extremely important. Performing a counter move too soon will make your move avoidable. Conversely, you may not have enough time to complete the counter move if performed too late. I did it! My training has paid off! And now let's get rid of this oaf. Congratulations! You are now ready to face the threats of the lands of Levia. Start by defeating this enemy once and for all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, okay, okay, so you have to do another IC. So the counter is... Okay, that's his stun sound, so you have to attack him again, I see. Okay, now we swipe up. sound effects. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. The rope. Untie that rope. You make it sound all so easy. Further to the right. No, no, now left. No, not that. Yes. No. Sound the alarm. He's escaped. This way. This way. <sighs> Blasted all the hell. <laughs> the boat disappeared into the night. Mm -hmm. In between the waves of a stormy sea, the young man's heart was as restless as the sea that surrounded him, okay. his mind full of doubts. Among them, the most sinister doubt being, what was that silent presence he had felt so close by? Did it have something to do with his power? What was its intention? What power? All would soon be revealed. It was only the beginning. <sighs> Game saved. Despite the struggle, despite the guidance of Kiroth, the small lifeboat had smashed against the rocks. The young Seric, thrown into the sea by the impact, found himself floundering in the water, fighting for his life yet again. Through great effort, he managed to drag himself to shore. He was completely soaked, lost in an unknown place, weary, Wounded and alone. What a crash. You should have seen how you thrashed about in the water. What a pitiful sight. <laughs> Not completely alone. Yeah. Uh I hardly think now is a good time to stop and rest. Leave me be, at least for a moment, can you? Leave me be, can you? Weakling. If you want to freeze to death, go ahead. Light of heaven, if that's how it has to be. There's no light here, just you. And those stupid beliefs aren't going to help. Rather, I see a cave over there. If you manage some wood for a fire, it may make for a good shelter. If that's how it has to be. <laughs> what a wimp. <sighs> Okay, what is he? I'm must, facing north. Okay, we're facing north. Okay. Let's. Okay, I hear something straight ahead. <sighs> Seems sort of to the left, maybe? Okay, that's to the right now. Ow. Big hulking tree trunks. There's no way through here. I'm facing north. These look like broken weapons. Arrows? Spearheads? They sure wouldn't hurt anybody. They're shoddy. Made of stone. Oh. How strange. Okay. Okay, there's something jingly ahead. And there's some kind of gong sound to far, way far to my right. Let's sidestep and go forward, because we're still going north. Okay. A wall of damp rock. So let's go back, and let's go... I'm facing north. Let's go east, I guess. Focus. See, so, you now I hear something straight ahead and something to my left, and I'm not quite sure what the thing to my left means. It looks like we're not the only scraps on this beach. No offense. This plank looks fairly dry. The rocks kept it safe from the water. That brushwood doesn't look bad either. 
Game saved. All right. Okay, we got some wood, apparently. Uh, I'm facing east. Okay, so let's face west. And let's focus. Okay, so something is to my right. So let's go north. I'm facing west. Wait, what? I'm facing west. I'm facing north. Okay. Okay, I think we go north. I think. Ugh. Okay. This air has a strange smell, an unpleasant one. Stagnant seawater, seaweed, seagull droppings. <laughs> Everything seems pretty unpleasant to me around here. Um... Okay, uh, whatever that glow noise was. I guess I'm in a cave now, maybe? Here's something over to my left. Crude and primitive drawings. Not exactly welcoming. Ow. Okay, whatever that means. Let's concentrate and see where we need to go. Okay, I guess we're gonna... I'm facing north. I don't know if the water is significant. If that's something I can interact with. Careful not to hit yourself. Okay. Guess I'm near a wall or something. I, I. I I sort of like I feel like I I sort of feel like I know what I'm doing, but at the same time I feel like I'm I'm just missing something. And I'm not sure. Guess we're gonna keep going north. I think we're going. I'm facing north. north. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to keep that in my head. Okay, let's listen. Okay. All right, smack into a. Oh, let's listen again. So it's ahead and maybe slightly to the left. Okay, hit a wall again. Yes, we're going up. What is that? The remains of something. Perhaps even human? Is that a leg? Okay. Okay, I hear a demonic something or other. I get to fight again, looks like pretty soon. Yuck, what a vile smell. I was right. It wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> Uh-oh. I have a feeling that it might be them. Shh. Let's approach quietly. Okay, something forward and to the right. Game saved. Okay, that's There's good. There's no time to find out what they are. They're coming. Small, fanged, and revolting. Trust me, you don't want to touch them. Kill Jennings. them all! Sea trolls. I've heard stories about them. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about what we're going to find if this is their lair. That ickle bad feeling is what's keeping you alive. If we want to call it that. <laughs> what does that even mean, anyway, ickle? You don't know I've heard that in like a Harry Potter. That's like the first time I've heard that. that crusty seaweed what does ickle else? mean? Is that like a British <laughs> thing? I keep... I keep thinking... Oh, hang on. Am I in combat or what the hell? Okay. Ow.
guy. Saved. Okay. I'm facing north. And I think I hear up to my right. So let's go east. Okay, now it's on my left again. What the hell? Uh I'm facing north. Guess we'll go north? This looks like a good place to rest, at least to know it's safe. How about that? You actually know how to do something. <laughs> My dad taught me how. He taught me a lot of things, actually. He always said that I needed to be able to cope with anything. That I needed to always be ready. Ready for this? Who knows what happened to him? The fire needs more wood. We really need to have a chat. No questions. By now you should be convinced that I'm nothing more than a voice in your head. Your mind's fine, actually. At least, it's no worse off than before. <laughs> Perhaps you could start by telling me what you are. What a way with words you've got. Mm. I'm still a person you know. Or rather, I once was. I've been called in lots of different ways, but my favorite is familiar. I'm a servant, nothing more. My job is to watch over you and make sure that you respect the pact you made with my master. Master? Pact? There it is. We've already reached the point where you pretend to remember nothing at all. I understand. And to think that I thought you seemed smart. You're serious? Oh no. <sighs> Alright, let's keep things simple. That power, that perception, you know what I'm talking about? It doesn't just come about like puberty. Perhaps you don't remember it, but you must have involved the help of my master, probably during the raid. The ancient prayer? From the engraving? Exactly. Most surely that. The engraving is a classic. More often than not, there's usually some old, dusty book, but well... Well, it would have been difficult in your case. <laughs> and now what... What's going to happen? Now? <laughs> You're going to. You're going to have to repay the debt you owe. But this gift hasn't helped me save anyone. The village has been raided. The villagers turned prisoners. Oh, the fires, I could feel their heat. Everything will be destroyed by now. And I'm in debt for this? They even captured me! Whoa, whoa, calm down. One step at a time. The Supreme Sarther is a civil kind of person. A reputable demon, if you prefer. Mm -hmm. The village hasn't been destroyed. The Marauders left, and your dad is alive. At least, so I've been told. And as for your beloved fellow villagers, you can still save them. Even if I personally don't think that they deserve your help, they didn't think very highly of you, right? <laughs> and what do you know? <laughs> you wouldn't have been able to do anything with just the power anyway. You need time to master it, and you need me. I'll explain what you need to do tomorrow. Relax. Our goals coincide with each other. I've helped For you now. so far, haven't I? You can trust me. <laughs> yeah. You know she's going to turn on you before the end of the game. I mean, it's just it just seems... You got the game stereotypical e evil voice. It was voice. a clear day. Stormy clouds appeared on the horizon. We're going to wrap it up here in just a moment. But they were, at that moment, distant. With the rite of purification around the corner... Many other matters seemed distant in the minds of the villagers of the small village of Inuik. Sarek was walking along the usual path towards the village on the coast. He didn't particularly enjoy this festivity, but he had some important errands to run for his father. To be perfectly honest, he didn't particularly enjoy going to the village either. He carried two bundles of leather under one arm, a couple of bags. With the other arm, he gripped his walking stick. He pondered the road ahead of him, the people that he would meet, 
More than anything, he thought about the advice of his father, who was more apprehensive and worried today than usual. Don't stay longer than you need. Avoid the men of the hand, but without attracting suspicion. And don't give any thought to the gossips of the village. The last piece of advice was the most frequently heard. Sarek had always heard it, as long as he could remember. He knew that these were not simple errands, but he had not asked his father for more details. The reserved Adaran, the undertaker on the hill, didn't enjoy talking more than needed, not even with his own son. But he didn't need any explanation as to why he was like that, thought Sarek to himself. Good day, young Sarek. Okay, I'd like to get I'd like to get the game to save. It didn't say game saved. Forward and to the right. Oh wait, I, okay, what direction am I facing? I'm facing east. Uh okay, let's go north. May the light smile upon you, Master Learn. You're here for the offer, aren't you? Yes. How's your father doing? Well, Thank you. Hmm. It's been a while since I've seen him around. He's got a lot on his plate, unfortunately. <sighs> I understand. Say hello to him. I will do. Thanks. Okay. So this is like a flashback? I'm presuming? Okay, there's a something on my right. Can I talk to you again? Good day, young Sarek. Okay, so let's turn to the east. And try to trigger a save point. I'm facing east. What am I supposed to be finding here? Forward and maybe to the right a little? I'm facing east. Forward and to the right? Is this it? This our offer in? I couldn't get any more. It should be enough. <laughs> May the darkness take them. Damned inquisitors. They can't have everything. Calm down. Don't talk about them like that. Someone might hear. Oh, you're right. It's just that... Shh! The blind man. That's just what we need. More trouble. <sighs> okay. <coughs> um... Walls of stone. Okay, to my left. It's funny they haven't saved my game in a while. I want to get to at least one more save because I, I want to wrap this up and give my final thoughts here. Okay, where are we going? Hey, it's my turn now. You be the heretic. No. Yes. I condemn you to the cleansing flames. Stop it. I don't like it. Dad said that we shouldn't play like this. You little wimp. <laughs> Run to your dad then. Stop it. You wimpy heretic. <laughs> yeah, I said that's enough. Run, run, blind little mouse. Quick before it escapes the house. Watch. How the farmer's wife runs after the mouse bit her son. Run, run the farmer too, with his pitchfork to run the mouse through. Stop it! Okay. On to the fire! On to the fire! <laughs> Quick before it escapes the house, catch, catch that blind little mouse. <laughs> Yeah, alrighty then. I'm facing south. I guess we're going straight, I think. I don't know.
You coming with me tonight? To the fire? My father's also going to be there. And he's not in the best of moods in this period. Who is? Come on, let's go together. Let's wait until the festival is over. Festival? More like... Shh! Enough! Keep away, Jinx. We're all alive here. Sorry. Don't get lost, hey? <laughs> okay. Game saved. Aha. Game saved. Perfect. You know what? We're going to stop it here. I'm going to leave this for your imagination. So, yeah, oh boy. Here's the thing. Um, it does some interesting things. Um... I think I would be more impressed if this was my first audio game, really, that I had played. <clears throat> um, the controls don't really maybe seem to be quite as responsive as, <clears throat> as other titles that I've played in the past, as far as audio games go. Um, the overall control scheme, I mean, it, it makes sense. Um... I like the fact that if you are low vision or sighted for that matter, like if you want to just get the story and you still want to play with some kind of, uh, you know, you're still going to have to listen to the audio, especially like if you're going to uh, time the parries and the blocks and stuff for combat. But, um, you know, you know, it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's not just a black screen. I mean, I guess you can, there is an option to turn that off, which is fine. Um, but I like the fact that you have a little, you know, even the cutscenes, they have these little line drawings and these little kind of animations and stuff. So that's good. Um, the overall, like, you know, moving around, uh, you get the sidestep, you got the turn, you've got, uh, the interact, uh, the little focus thing to kind of point out where your next objective is. All that is fine. And I think for a touch screen, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to want the controls to be too complicated. So I am fine with, um, you know, the swipe left, right, or up for the enemy positions. Um, you know, then you have your block, you have your counterattack. I don't know if they're going to introduce other things later. Like, you know, I can see where, you know, even if you have something like Karatika, remember the, uh, the modern version of Karatika that I covered ages ago, on the channel that kind of had this like rhythm game esque thing to the combat combat like where maybe you would hear you know the music was really cool because it would the drums would kind of in or different sound effects would indicate like how many times you had to like you had to counter or block um i forget exactly how the mechanics work but it was really neat because you had to depending on the type of sound and and how many times you heard it you would have to do different things. It was almost like a little Simon Says sort of a thing. So it's kind of a little more, a little bit more rhythmic, actually. But um, I, I don't know. There's just something about it. Like the pieces are there, but the plot, I, I just, I don't feel like the plot is engaging me. I mean, how many times can I wake up as somebody with amnesia? You're, you know, I know they're going for the whole snarky sidekick character, familiar person, but she kind of just kind of, you know, I, it almost comes off like they're trying too hard and she just kind of sounds annoying. Um, you know, a couple of times I chuckled, but you know, I don't know. I mean, maybe if I play a little bit longer, the story might hook me a little bit more. But there's just, I, I don't know that I really care enough about the story or about the characters. You know, they're throwing these names around. And I'm like, I don't know who half these people are. Um, I mean, I know, I guess they're going to, that's what they're trying to establish in this flashback. Uh, probably a dream is, you know, probably a dream. Uh, while we're on, uh, while we're by the fire, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings on it. Like I said, if this is the first audio game, um, I would probably be more even, you know, more impressed than I am. 
Uh, but I've played other both PC and iOS games that kind of do a similar thing. And I've liked some of those a little bit better. It kind of seems a little slow almost. And like even like some of the movement and combat just seems a little more like slow and deliberate, which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing. But, you know, again, I'm used to playing more mainstream games where you just, you know, you just go. Um, I, I really can't put a finger on what it is. But like I said, it's not bad. But I'm just not feeling it as much as I do some of the other audio games. Um, you know, I mean, that being said, like I said, I'm, I do play a lot more audio game, or uh, a lot more mainstream games, visual and audio. You know, that's what I cover a lot on the channel because there's a gazillion of them. Um, if you are totally blind and you rely on... You know, you have to rely on audio. Uh, this is not a, you know, it doesn't seem like a bad game. It seems like we're just starting to get the glimpse of the story and things are just starting. So uh, I don't know how long this is, but it just by, the, you know, the pacing of it so far, it seems like there's quite a bit that would be left. And I will continue. Um, you know, like I said, I, I do at least want to finish this game once all the way through um so yeah i mean and even if you are paying you know 10 bucks or so like i said you know people complain oh but it's a mobile game it should be free it should be a dollar it should blah 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 blah, blah whatever well guess what a um think about it you know there's not that many audio games out there um and you definitely want, like I said, you definitely want to support the developers that are making content that you can consume. Uh, so I still think it would be worth, um, still think it would be worth supporting the developer. And um, yeah, but so that is Echoes, Echoes from Leviah, Soulbound. If I remember correctly, I want to say this might or it's supposed to be the start of a series, maybe? Uh, <coughs> I suppose depending on how well this uh, iteration, how this version does. So we'll see about that. But um, yeah, you can get this for iOS, uh, I believe for PC, and I also want to say it might be available on the Mac. So I think you're pretty well covered on most platforms. Not sure about Android, um, but yeah. Uh, I mean, it seems it seems solid enough. Uh, there's just, like I said, it's just for some reason it's not hooking me as much as I thought it would. But it, it it's still, the foundation is there. The foundation is solid. And I think you'll get a lot of gameplay out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79 or Mixer, Mixer.com slash BGFH. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys again later.